Okay. Oh, YouTube. Doing a first time demonstration of my welded chain West Coast style off road, on road, overland mirrors. So let's get started, eh? First, undo locking chain. Locks it in place for highway use. Undo bolt. Hold the mirror in. Locking chain back on. Out of the way of trees, mostly. Both sides. When I was welding it up, the configuration ended up reversing itself, being opposite sides, so the chain ended up bolting underneath instead of over top in order to make it look symmetrical. in this setup. We're going through tight trails. Speaking of which, the pipes have chains on them in case the trees knock the pipes off. Which, I don't know, seems to work. So, that's the off-road setup. We've already seen the on-road setup. So, this is what I like to call the overland setup. Take the mirror all the way out. Chain up here. Behind. Find a place to lock it in. You basically want to be set up for what you're doing for the day. But you put that one on there. Keeps it out of the way of the view so you can take pictures. So when you're in the truck, the mirror is not in the way of your picture taking. Pretty sure I haven't done this in a while, but this one should also line up the same way. But the bolt ends up being in reverse. When they're laying on the truck, they don't bang around too much. And as you can see, the chains have gotten rusted from the rain. And that's the picture taking over land setup. <coughs> this way here. Like I said, mirrors aren't in the way of picture taking. And then
back to the street version. Turn this. Oh. Less slack there is. Street version. And even if you hit a branch in the street version, there's a little bit of give. They give a little bit of play in order to let the branch slide by. Never breaks, just swallowed it again. <laughs> 